Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. Yes, Peter, we have decided to react. In fact, over what is what happened to a Labour Party participants or supporters, and it is getting really alarming. Peter Bit said to read. But for some of us who do not know what happened in Lagos, Oshodi in particular, and, and some other part of Lagos that is bringing in so much alarm and so much reactions all over Nigeria, particularly from the Labour Party presidential aspirant. We'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You see a notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Okay, let's start with one of the numerous activities that took place and what Putobi is reacting to that. According to Daily Post of Monday, 3rd October 2022, the authorities and the management of the Labour Party, LP, have jointly issued a statement in response to suspected assault during a campaign against one of um, the promoters of Peter Obi, the party's presidential candidate. As of Sunday, October 2nd, 2022, a, an influencer on the social media known as Obi Flag Boy was intentionally ambushed in, in Osho, the Lagos, that's Osho, the area which is located in Lagos State. He disclosed, he disclosed rather to the public that he was assaulted by the chairman of Oshodi and his aides on his social media account, which is known as at OB Flag Boy, simply because he was spotted, uh, he was spotted raising the, the, um, raising and carrying the Pitobi's flag. Specifically, he tweeted saying, this is what the chairman of Oshodi and his boys did to me, did to us. Today at Oshodi because they saw us carrying the at Peter Obi flag. We were almost born to life, if not for the army officer that intervened. This is totally unacceptable because I see no reason why we, the Peter Obi supporters, should be molested or intimidated because of the party we are supporting. I hope appropriate authorities do something urgent about this because uh, before chaos is unleashed on the country, the victim said. However, the Labour Party authorities issued a statement of condemnation on Monday through its official Twitter handle, expressing its dis disapproval of the assault and harassment of party promoters. As a matter of fact, the party believes that Obi campaign is a democratic movement which everyone has the right to meaning that no one should be harassed in the process of supporting any party of his or her choice. Additionally, the Labour Party also disclosed that attack on any Nigerian is an attack on all and especially to us at Nigerian Labour. We, so, we strongly condemn such barbaric intimidation and harassment of our supporters at Obi Flag Boy, especially in Lagos. Obi Dati movement is a democratic movement and no one should be molested at Police Nigeria at Follow Lasga. Okay, it didn't end there. This is what Peter B. Hart got to say concerning uh, the security agency secret, secretly also arresting his supporters. It was learned that a Lagos state coordinator for rally organized by supporters of OB was on Saturday reportedly arrested by operatives of the Department of State Services, DSS. The coordinator, Joseph Onora, was arrested when he arrived in Lagos on his way from France. Uh, it was also, well, well, the paper cannot immediately ascertain if there are other supporters of the former Anambra state governor that have been arrested on trumped up charges. But Peter Obi is not happy. Elections are not deemed free and fair when a certain group employs the tool of intimidation to ensure that the opposition is silenced, both at the campaigns and at the polls. Peaceful assembly and unfitted electionary campaigns are constitutionally guaranteed. Both and other ordered liberties cannot be breached with Philly by security agency. Uh, re recent reports uh, of ob obedience being silenced are arrested. I think that again. Recent reports of obedience being silently arrested by some security agent is extremely disturbing and condemnable, Obi wrote on his social media platform. We must ensure that everyone is given a level playing field in the forthcoming elections and that no eligible Nigerian, irrespective of ethnicity, religion or a political affiliation, is disenfranchised, more so through violence and intimidation. I call on the federal and the state agencies to remind their operatives on the need to res respect civil liberties. And this is actually coming from Peter Obi, and it's getting really worrisome because the truth be told, if at this stage where the campaigns have not 
fully getting on the way. Yes, we're seeing here and there. APC has started uh, building up. Uh, we're seeing a lot of um, old people, really, aged people coming up for uh, APC, especially the southwestern part, Lagos. And um, Ibado was a bit late, was late for APC, but made predominantly uh, they were made up of the old women, old. Uh, uh, a quick one, um, Jaka Silva, uh, one of our very own, very beautiful, uh, legendary actress, was also seen uh, um, among the women wing of APC in Lagos. Oh my God, you need to see what Nigerians, Nigerian you did to her on social media. She had to kind of close of her comment they were really disappointed judging the fact that they all believe that as an aged person or as an elderly beautiful actress uh, she would stand with the youth according to those who actually came uh, came for her for her support they believe that a nigerianist revolution a a, a change for pos positive change they'll change the narrative and make nigerian youth to become engaged positively engaged and bringing in someone as um old as um Bola Ahmed Tunubu, regardless of his background, religion, ethnicity, wasn't fair on the youth. Someone who they have to continuously vet his health. A lot of people believe that there's more to it that meets the eyes. You know, so so they came for her saying that she didn't mean well for Nigerians. She had to close her comment session. That didn't end also. They also spotted uh, Mercy Johnson, although Mercy Johnson refused to upload any of those uh, videos where she held, if she eventually held some such campaign anyway. Uh, but Nigerians are really uh, are vexed right now. And B2B had to react. Look, we can't continue like this. I, I believe, yes, Lagos State is an APC state. Uh, Ebony State is an APC state. But I, I feel that just the same way uh, Ibado or your state gave free reign for Labour Party to have their campaign uninterrupted, uh, the same free reign also was what APC also enjoyed, uninterrupted also in Oyo. As a few hours ago, APC held a rally. No one intimidated them. No one harassed them. Same thing happened with Labour Party, October 1st. No one intimidated them. No one harassed them. And I believe that that should be what it should be. You know, free, fair election period. Let Nigerians decide. But in a situation where you begin to, you know, play political hanky-panky, simply because, okay, it's a party and you do not want any other person to have a free run in your state, that's no longer democracy. And that's exactly what Peter is trying to say okay for an influencer to say that that means he must have gone through a lot i cannot forget what happened in hashtag and says when mr macaroni also stood for the people and he was harassed to a great extent it, it kind of gave his head gave him factory reset even right now you see him he's not openly declaring his support but from his uh, in between the lines you know that he's actually for me, what I perceive is actually rooting strongly for Peter Obi. Let's leave ethnicity out of this. Nigeria needs a positive change and an energetic, energetic president who's also intellectual and who is unbiased is what we need. And we shouldn't be doing that on ethnical or religious line. We need to get it right or else Nigeria is gone. That's going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our conversation. Also, take.